sunlight is vital to our mental and physical health. It is used for vitamin D synthesis, it helps regulate our circadian rhythm, it can even improve our mood. But too much sun exposure can have acute and long-term impacts on our eyes. Photokeratitis is a term used when our eyes get sunburned. It is an acute condition where your eyes are red, painful, and light sensitive, and your vision may be blurry. Prolonged sun exposure is associated with even more eye conditions, such as cataract, pterygium, macular degeneration, and eyelid cancer, just to name a few. We have long realized what the sun can do to our eyes. Over 2,000 years ago, the Inuit people in northern Canada carved narrow slits into ivory, antler, and wood to make snow goggles that prevented snow blindness. And in the 1940s, sunglasses gained massive popularity as a fashion accessory. Sunglasses has since evolved to become an everyday tool for protecting our eyes from UV radiation. But what style of sunglasses offer the best protection? Does price matter? Are dark sunglasses better? And what about polarized sunglasses? I'm Dr. Sunny, and this is Days in the Clinic. Ultraviolet radiation, UV, is one of the major components of sunlight. UV can be further broken down into three groups. UVA, ranging from 315 to 400 nanometers, can pass through the Earth's atmosphere. According to the WHO, UVA makes up approximately 95% of all UV radiation that reaches us. In our eyes, UVA can pass through our cornea, reaching our lens and retina. UVB, ranging from 280 to 315 nanometers, has more energy. While it is mostly filtered by the Earth's ozone layer, the small percentage that makes it to us is potent enough to cause skin cancer and sunburns. Acute exposure to UVB can sunburn our eyes, while prolonged exposure can cause eyelid cancer and various other eye disease. UVC, ranging from 100 to 280 nanometers, has the most energy, but virtually all of it is absorbed by the Earth's ozone layer. So, for sunglasses, you want to look for 100% protection against UVA and UVB, or UV400, which blocks wavelength up to at least 400 nanometers where UVA ends. But hold up, even the cheap sunglasses from the dollar store have those labels. How reliable are they? Some regions in the world have mandatory standards for UV filtering in sunglasses, namely the United States, Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. For other countries, there may be industry standards for sunglasses. Using Canada as an example, Health Canada states that manufacturers follow voluntary industry standards. A 2017 study published in the Canadian Journal of Ophthalmology sampled 207 pairs of sunglasses on the Canadian market. The authors group the sunglasses into three price range categories, low being $0 to $20, medium being $21 to $120, and high being above $120. Yeah, 2017, where $120 was considered high and an average salary could afford a home. The authors tested whether the sunglasses met the voluntary Canadian standards. The authors found that only two of the 207 pairs of sunglasses tested did not comply with the Canadian industry standards. I went to two different dollar stores and bought six pairs of sunglasses with UV400 stickers or other UV markings for under $2 each. And they all have 100% UV blockage, just like my 10-year-old $300 Maui Gym sunglasses meaning price is not correlated with the sunglasses' ability to block UV. However, price does matter when it comes to the optical quality and the durability of the lens. Polarized lenses, such as the ones in my Maui Gym, reduce glare caused by light reflecting off flat surfaces. The reduction in glare helps color appear more vibrant and increases contrast. Polarized sunglasses are especially good 
for driving and outdoor activities in the snow or on water. However, be careful with polarized lenses if you're a pilot. The polarization interferes with windscreens and your ability to read instruments that has anti-glare coating, producing image distortions like rainbow swirls and black squares. What about the lens darkness? Well, these clear lenses have 100% UV protection, meaning a darker lens does not mean better UV protection but a darker lens is preferred for brighter days because bright non-UV light can also damage your eyes. When the retinas light sensing cells become overstimulated from looking at a bright light, they release massive amount of signaling chemicals that can cause damage to the retinal tissue over time. This is called photooxidative damage or photochemical damage. This is why you should never stare directly at the sun, even when you're wearing 100% UV protective sunglasses. The sun is so intensely bright, staring directly at it for just a few seconds can cause permanent retinal damage. For reference, solar eclipse glasses block 100% UV, 100% infrared, and 99.98% visible light, allowing you to look at the sun for a short period. What about the color? There is a lot of anecdotal evidence saying things like brown or amber tint enhance contrast, or yellow tint is good for low light. But when I looked for scientific research on sunglasses color, there was no universal consensus. So get the color you're most comfortable wearing. Am I good to go? Well, the size of sunglasses matters. UV radiations can bounce off other surfaces and reach your eyes from different directions and angles. A 2019 study in the Journal of Exposure Science and Environmental Epidemiology tested the UV protection effectiveness of various sizes of sunglasses. Large goggles, large sunglasses, and medium sunglasses. The sunglasses were tested in the summer, winter, and under different weather conditions. The researchers also tested with different head positions, including looking up 30 degrees, looking down 30 degrees, and looking straight ahead. They found that goggles offered nearly 100% protection under all testing conditions, while the large sunglasses offered great protection while looking up and during general winter conditions. The medium sunglasses, which a lot of us wear, offered the least amount of protection in all exposure conditions. So for bright day like this, sunglasses alone are not sufficient. Cover up with a wide brim hat and use sunscreen. In addition to the size of sunglasses, the shape and position are also very important. Pacific University professor Dr. Carl Satek noted in his 2008 study that lenses with a relatively flat back surface did not re reduce UV radiation coming from the sides or behind the wearer, while sunglasses with sufficient wrap could eliminate direct and reflected UV light. Other studies also showed that sunglasses sitting far away from the face significantly increased UV exposure. If I can see your eyes from different angles, so can the sun. What about children? Do they need sunglasses? Well, children are susceptible, if not more susceptible, to all the UV damages we talked about so far. Some evidence suggests the anterior segment structures in a child's eye, such as the lens and the cornea, are so transparent that a larger amount of UV can pass through and reach the retina. Additionally, children tend to have larger pupils, which let even more sunlight in. Increased sun exposure at a young age also predisposes the child to nuclear cataract later in life. If anything, a good pair of sunglasses is more important for children and adolescents. But this is not to say avoid going outside. Outdoor activity is crucial for eye development. Outdoor activity is greatly associated with a decreased risk of myopia or nearsightedness. This will be another video. So. When choosing sunglasses for both kids and adults, make sure the lens has 100% UV protection. Go for darker shades on brighter days and choose large wraparound frames that sit close to your face. Like sunscreen, sunglasses shouldn't just be a summer thing. The sun is present all year round, 
and sunlight that reflects from the snow during the winter may be just as damaging as the hot summer sun. Or perhaps we should all go outside looking like this. Thanks for watching.